Okay, so we're gonna add a sling into Asset Tiger. Just gonna go to the crosshairs icon and scan your new tag. Once it loads up, you select the proper category. In this case, we're doing a sling. So we're gonna to go to the sling category. We're gonna update our date of service to today. And then we're gonna enter all the pertinent details that it prompts you for. There's no room number that we're in right now. So we're gonna go with 000. The sling serial number here looks like it says FN170405. The description, you could add the brand, the sling size, the safe working load, the make, the capacity, the type of sling. In this case, we have a uh, transfer sling. Uh, you have the mount type, the clip check, the attachment points, all the relevant information. Once you have that, uh, all that information loaded in, then you're gonna wanna go to the choose file and actually add a photo of the asset. camera, add your picture, that's okay. And then from there, once that loads in, the last thing we always do is get the photo, it's the very last thing. And then you wanna hit the save icon in the upper right hand corner. It's gonna prompt you if you don't have any of the information like I do, cause I'm trying to skip uh, over entering all these categories, anything with an asterisk is mandatory. And so well, you have to have those all filled in before it will let you save. And the reason that is, it's all important stuff that you need in your reports. You do need to know the type, the size, the safe working load, the stitching quality, the damage, all of that. Or otherwise, if you're having trouble saving, it's because you don't have those mandatory fields and it will take you to one. So once you have all those filled out, you can finally save your asset and we'll show you next on how to link them together to the other assets.